Hello, YouTubers. It's Godzilla 294 here coming at you with a how to video today or DIY video. So, as you can see by the, the title of this video, I made my own behemoth figure because no company wants to make a behemoth, behemoth figure at the moment, except for YMSF. They're just pending approval on their prototype. Anyways, so I decided to take it into my own hands and make my own figure. So, I'm going to tell you how I did that. So, let's get started. What I ended up doing is I drew the, the Titans. And I originally was going to do the Muto, the female, female Muto as well, but as I progressed on her, she just kept looking like trash, so honestly, I did put her in the trash, because she just wasn't going up to my standards. But anyways, so I drew it, the t uh, Behemoth, and I got some metal wires, and I moved them, I got three pieces, and I moved them into make arms, tusks, and two hind legs. And then, as you can see, I also did it for the female Muto as well, which, like I said, did not come out well. And then afterwards, I put aluminum foil, wrapped it around it to give him more, like, the wires of the skeleton. But the aluminum foil gave him the mass that I wanted and needed. And it's honestly a pretty cheap substitute for clay. What I mean by substitute, I, I don't mean really substitute. It's just, you don't have to use, you still need clay, but you won't use as much clay if you use aluminum foil. You will definitely need clay to sculpt, but if you put aluminum foil, you can get, like, let's say, like, bicep muscle structure you can do. You can pretty much just get the base of the figure without the details done with aluminum foil. To start sculpting, I went to Michael's and I got some sculpting tools and I also got the clay that I use was poly for model air. So it just airs out, it dries up by the air. You don't have to bake it or anything, which is good because I don't want to burn my house down by baking something, a sculpture in the freaking oven. But you can always, you can get it at Michael's or Aaron's, but if you go to Michael's, I know you can use like coupons because it always has coupons all the time. So you can save money on that. And while you're there, don't forget your sculpting tools, your clay, and your paint. I recommend you get black, white, and brown. Now, to start sculpting, I used that wooden um, tool you see in the photo. I don't know what that tool is called. But all I did was kind of just poking at the clay with it and like pushing it back. And it created that furry-like texture and detail. And I did it for the rest of the figure. But for the face, I started. I used different tools. I, like, I don't know what they're called, but they were thin, thinner metal tools. And honestly... I think like the figure came out good. It's just the face looks like crap. Like, and that's my fault. But besides that, um, you can see all the, d the details that I did on the fur. It looks, in my opinion, the fur looks the best out of the whole entire figure. And then I forgot to get sandpaper. So when you're also at Michael's or whatever art craft store you're at, don't forget to get sandpaper so you can smooth out the tusks. But I think the tusks came out really good. Like, they're not smooth. But then again, this Titan has been in slumber or hibernation for many, 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 many years. And I did start off painting the figure with a regular matte black paint with the regular brush. But then I was like, this is too much work. And I'm not even sure if I'll get all like, if I'll manage to paint all the clay with so much fur I sculpted into it. So I got a spray paint can and I just spray painted the whole entire thing, which made it much more easier and faster to paint the figure. And I also used the Bandai Movie Monster Series Godzilla 2018 figure as size comparison. I think the size, like the height wise for Behemoth is good. It's just he's not in scale like he's just too his body built is, is massive and i also did forget to put the spikes on him so that's why i, I put them on later but you can see that and then here's some other pictures of the muto i destroyed her head because her head was like what really like made me like not want to make her anymore so i wasted clay and foil and wires there but as you can see here's the final product of behemoth like i said i think overall he came out pretty good for my first time ever making a figure the face is still trash, but I think it's way better than the, the way the female Muto came out. I should have taken a picture and shown you guys. But Behemoth is really, really good. I do wish I could have sculpted in some kind of green vines on the, on his tusks because that is in the movie. But then I thought I should just get some moss and I probably will next time I go to Michael's. And here he is again for size comparison with the Godzilla. And yeah, I think overall, like I said, I think like I did 80%. I like the figure. It's just the claws. No, the hands, the feet, and the face, I could have done better. But it is my first time, so yeah. Let me let me know if you guys like the way I did this figure. I know the eyes look a little bit goofy. But if you're going to make one, please make a video and show me. Because I would really, really like to see you if you guys would do the same behemoth figure. But then also, if there's any toy companies watching, like NECA, Bandai, or Jack Pacific, can you please hear fans wanting behemoth figure? I mean, you can at least make something for Godzilla vs. Kong next year. Thanks. <laughs> Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Thanks, guys.